All right, what is up, all you gorgeous people? I have a very important uh, Ren update for you guys. I recently just took a short trade, and I also want to talk about Ren and uh, its long-term future, and how, in fact, the more I learn about Ren, uh, the more I look into it, the more bullish I get on it long-term. And I think Ren is actually a hidden gem that I do not hear or see a lot of hype about. And if it is indeed going to be successful in its efforts, I think Ren could actually uh, do very, very well long term, uh, especially since I feel like not a lot of people know about it uh, right now. Not a lot of people have been talking about it. And so I feel like Ren is kind of like a hit, hidden gem. And so I'm going to talk about its long term future uh, later in this video. And uh, at the end, uh, yeah, no. And uh, but for the moment, I want to talk about this short I recently took because I do think uh, Ren is short term bearish. So let's delve into this. Uh, guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself in regards to how well I've been able to call Ren. Uh, uh, you know, we were in this wedge here. As soon as we broke out, I, I even said in a previous video, if we break out bullishly from this wedge, we're touching this red line. If we break out bearishly, we're touching this green line. And guess what? We broke out bullishly and we basically went to this red line. So, I mean, I was right. Unfortunately, I was not around to trade this. I wish I was. Uh, because that was, this this was extremely uh, bullish, and I mean I was exactly right. We were playing off this very macro wedge exactly, and in the near term, um, you know, we had this uh, micro wedge and we broke out bullishly. And ultimately, I'm going to short right now because I think we're going to go back down and retest this red line here. I think it's just a matter of time. So you know we're getting decreasing volume, also. You know, our RSI definitely has room to go down. Our MACD looks bearish. You know, so we're also in a in a macro downtrend. So I think this makes sense. I think we're very likely to, at the very least, retest this green line. And even more so, if we were to drop down below this red line, I think we're going to drop down all the way down to this green line. I could, I, I could totally see a 17-ish percent drop uh in the next few days here it's totally possible so just because i think ren is short-term bearish does not uh invalidate my long-term bullish stance um guys ultimately i think ren is very very bullish long term um the simplest way i can describe it is essentially ren acts as like a as a connector between polka dot and ethereum uh he, so let me read this summary of ren here uh, a network of virtual computers that powers inter interoperability for decentralized applications, enabling cross-chain lending exchanges, collateralization, and more. So essentially in English, um, one of the main implications of REN is that it will help to connect uh, Polkadot and Ethereum. For those of you who don't know, Polkadot and Ethereum are some of the biggest things in, in the cryptocurrency world today. So if indeed REN can be successful in its efforts and... I, I don't hear anyone in the cryptocurrency space, barely anyone talking about Ren. Um, I think it's 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 potentially very interesting. Um, another thing to consider too is we're in a very very macro wedge. So once we reach an apex over here, we're either gonna break down explosively or break up explosively. So I'm gonna be following Ren very closely these next few days and weeks because once we do reach an apex here and we break out of this wedge, whatever way we break out, we're likely to break out very, very explosively. Um, I'm personally leaning towards the bullish side as of now because, you know, if it, our apex is what, early December? Eh, yeah, who knows? I think it all depends on what Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing. If Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, decide to take off early December, uh, then I think Ren has a good shot, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, you know, so yeah, guys, you know, when it comes to Ren, Ren is currently, what's its market cap here? Two one, yeah, just over 200 million, 286. It's currently ranked 56 in terms of market cap. So, you know, um, I I don't really have a price prediction as to where I think Ren is going to go. But ultimately, I think Ren is it's a very new coin. It's very unheard of. So, you know, me as a, as a value investor, as someone who likes to invest in things uh, before they've really taken off. I mean, we've you could argue Ren has take, really taken off already, but. I think um, this bull run hasn't even really started yet. I think we're going to get a bull run uh, in the year 2022. And a lot of coins that have a lot of use case, uh, such as Ren, I think are going to benefit greatly. So we'll see, guys. It's not financial advice, but um, 
personally, I'm, I wish I could accumulate uh, Ren, uh, um, uh, but I'm focused on, on accumulating VeChain for the moment. Uh, but Ren is definitely very interesting uh, to me. I think it's a hidden gem. And I think once this bull run really gets going and people start to discover what Ren is, I think Ren has a good shot, good potential of doing well long term. Now, in the short term, I do expect downside. I think we're going to go down to retest this red line roughly around the uh, 30039, 31, basically 31 cents, basically, I think. And if we break down below this, we're going to touch this, uh, this green line roughly around, I'd say, 27 to 26 cents. So that's why I'm in a short. But in the long term, I think Ren is very, very interesting. So, uh, guys, please like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand, a thousand subscribers. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports the channel by uh, liking and subscribing. I appreciate the hell out of all of you. And uh, you know, we're, if you could help us get two thousand subscribers, that'd be awesome. We're almost there, guys. So, um, yeah, that's it, y'all. Take care.